Welcome to Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Friday the 12th of January 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening as we move into the Asian session today. Of course, overnight was a bit of a wild ride. We saw US markets pair early losses. That CPI data was a bit warmer than expected, sending markets to the downside. And then the buyers came back in. So the major indices all closed near neutral with the exception of the Russell 2000. Markets focus turns to earnings with the start of earnings season today. That could be interesting in terms of seeing whether stocks merit the valuations. U.S. futures mildly higher in Asian trading, but a little bit bouncy. Asian markets are cautious in early trading. The ASX is 0.35% to the downside. European futures, because the European markets closed at the U.S. low, are pointing to a cautiously positive open today. Was a wild ride for the US dollar index, not surprisingly, on the back of that CPI data. Eventually, it settled near neutral. It's still near the top of the short term range. Gold managed to survive a test of short term support at 2030 and is holding on to that in Asia. Prop was slightly higher after a small bounce, but still under that 200 MA drop through earlier in the week. And oil is up today in Asia and trading mid range after a slightly positive session overnight. Bitcoin looked as though it was going to shoot to the stars. It touched two-year highs after the release of the crypto ETF. Then sort of gave up much of those gains to finish slightly lower, though still fairly high, of course. Be interested to see what happens next. Plenty of data for the markets to digest today. We've got Chinese CPI, we've got UK GDP and manufacturing and industrial production data out later. And the important US PPI data tonight probably has even more importance than usual because of that warm CPI number last night. And then, of course, earnings season, we've got big banks reporting with JPM and Bank of America among them, and Delta Airlines as well also reporting. Obviously, see a reporting ramp up next week, and for the next couple of weeks, we will have a focus on earnings and report those significant ones as they come across the wires. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. And we're going to start with the USD Japanese yen, and you can see the impact of that CPI data. That's when it came out, and then we had this sell off quite significantly in the USD. So, ultimately, closing near the lows of the day, and we've had a continuation of that sell off in Asia today. If we just put it on a longer term chart, just to give you context, we're looking at this level at around about 144.70 as an important level. And if we should get a test of that and fall through, then we could be on for a significant amount of selling, may even take us down to 144. So that's the FX chart we're keeping an eye on today. On the ASX, we have an ascending triangle formation forming on Commonwealth Bank, ticket code CBA, of course. And you can see it's pushing hard against this 113.44 level. It looked as though we we're going to breach it yesterday, but then just failed to at the line. line but you can see today despite starting down is now at the top of the session looks as though a retest could be on the cards interesting to see if this moves in light of those u.s banks reporting tonight but want to keep an eye on not only today but also on monday of course trade safe and see you again soon bye-bye for now